It's been a long, bumpy road, to say the least, for yeah. Interfaith Sanctuary Homeless Shelter. The organization has spent the last two years trying to get the city of Boise's approval for a bigger building on West State Street. Boise City Council is debating the new shelter's design tonight after several challenges from the Veterans Park Neighborhood Association. Since Interfaith's initial application, the Neighborhood Association has fought against this new shelter moving into the neighborhood. Abby Davis at that meeting tonight. Abby, the entire process, again, it's been about two years and it's still going on. That's right, Morgan and Brian. There really are two separate issues here. City Council already approved the conditional use permit, which lets Interfaith use that location for a homeless shelter. But the issue tonight is about the actual design of the building. They are still debating behind me in that room. We have some renderings so you can take a look at what that building would look like. The city's design review committee approved Interfaith's design application back in October. Since that design approval, the Neighborhood Association has appealed several times, sending the application through different city committees before ending up at City Council tonight. Right now, Interfaith can serve about 165 people at their downtown shelter. This new shelter could serve 205 people. Neighborhood Association President Katie Decker isn't happy with the design. She's worried about noise and says there wouldn't be enough space in the shelter to house everyone comfortably particularly families and individuals. Because there's been a lot of public concern that mixing these two demographics is potentially a disservice to the vulnerable families experiencing homelessness staying at the shelter. Interfaith's executive director, Jody Peterson Steigers, doesn't agree and says they've put a lot of thought into the shelter's design. She also says families would be separated from single men and women. We're really good at what we do and we're very thoughtful about how we've looked at this design and what the need is in our community now. The Neighborhood Association is currently suing the city over the conditional use permit. Boise City Council approved the conditional use permit last spring, but Decker says the city did not follow proper code when they approved the project. Now, there's a couple different ways that this could go tonight. On one hand, the City Council could rule in favor of Interfaith and deny that appeal, in which case Interfaith could start getting building permits and really start moving along on the construction and the actual um, cosmetic side of the project. Project. In that case, the Neighborhood Association could actually take another action and send it back to judicial review, mm. kind of similar with what they did with the conditional use permit that would um, be taking formal legal action against the city in that decision. On the other hand, they could also uphold the appeal in which case Interfaith could actually then appeal. So it's a complicated process mm -hmm. with lots and lots of uh, appeals. But if that happens, then Inter Interfaith would really be back to the start of the beginning. They would have to go back to design review and get a whole new design approved. So lots and lots of steps here, and it's very complicated. Lots of steps. You can see why we said it's still going on mm -hmm. because I know that Interfaith Sanctuary expected they would at least be breaking ground or getting into that new building exactly. by this point when they first started this process. And I know they sold that original building, so when we talked to them about that, they were going on a month-to-month -month lease. They're okay. new owners of that building. I assume that would just continue while they kind of sort out, is again, this lengthy process right. that seems to continue. Because obviously they're still there. They're yes. still needing that facility, but yep. as they've said, outgrowing it too. Yep. All right.